Hey, this is Rashad Cartwright at 757blackbiz.com. And I had a chance this week for our business highlight for a site to visit Norfolk Montessori Academy. Listen, Whitney Houston once said that I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Well, that was from the song, The Greatest Love of All. And Miss Emma Griffin, the owner and operator of Norfolk Montessori Academy, excels and believes this word with every child that she sees within her preschool. If you don't believe me, watch this and let's go look at it. Originally, I'm from North Carolina. Uh, my family relocated to this area. My father and mother relocated to Norfolk. My son, Michael, when he was born, I was determined to stay at home and be that mom, and I did, and I started the home daycare. And I stayed there for 10 years, and then I decided I felt like it was time to grow, and um, I purchased this house, hence uh, Montessori's children's house, so I purchased the house um, and had it rezoned for a business because it was residential. And uh, we did our construction, um, we put in the work, we changed over, we transitioned a lot of things and it created what we have now, um, which is Norfolk Montessori Academy. The process was somewhat difficult. So you had to go before um, the planning council, the city, and um, they had to decide if it was an idea. They had kind of pretty much agreed on what you were doing. And initially they said no. So I had to go back before them and, and get them to see uh, my vision, my dream, and I got the support for a couple, from a couple of uh, local um, members in the uh, community. I had the Civic League back me up a little bit and it was all good from there. When we initially opened, we just had our, our children's house program, which is the three to five year olds. But currently we have the um, before and after school program, we have our topless program, and we have our children's house program. The uh, before and after school program operates uh, from 6 to 8.30, and then our after school program operates from 3.30 until 6. Our four day program, which is the primary program, we operate from 8.30 to 3.30. I went back to school so that I can be the director of the program, and at that time I learned about Montessori. She was the only female philosopher at that time. The curriculum is designed by Maria Montessori, but it allows children to be independent. It teaches them self-esteem. It teaches them confidence. It teaches them how to get along with one another. Uh, it focuses on their social skills. And we, as the Montessori teachers or the guide in the classroom, we get to oversee that by nurturing them, um, giving them love, helping them to understand. So I really believe that's the reason why uh, our program separates us from the other programs. What the parents expect from our program is trust, first of all. They trust us with their child. Uh, they expect academic excellence uh, a lot of times, and it's because of the curriculum. We're phonetically based. We do one-on-one uh, -on -one teaching, except when we do a small group, a large group. Uh, and that's a benefit within itself, that the child is receiving that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, they expect and appreciate small settings. Our ratio right now is like one to six. But for every teacher, we have six students, which allow us to be able to devote that additional attention and time to that specific student. So as you uh, observe the facility or the prepared environment, you will notice that we do have a lot of uh, famous African-American images in our um, classroom. Our population is predominantly Af African-American, even though we cater to any nationality, race, or creed. So our goal, one of our goals, is to help them see themselves in a special way because we know our history of America. So we do our part to make sure they feel good and see images that represent them in a positive manner. I believe that entrepreneurship in the black community is important because it helped empowers us as a group. I mean, all other groups are empowered, why should we be empowered? So it's definitely important for us to understand black entrepreneurship and to support other black entrepreneurs. I am Ms. Griffin with Norfolk Montessori Academy. I'm with 757blackbiz.com. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a black entrepreneur, please get listed with 757blackbiz.com. Get listed. <music>